Hey, what's up everybody? Eric Solbox on a little factory today. Look how much more room I've got in here. I organized some stuff. So this area over here had a whole bunch of shit going on. Um, basically, uh, I went ahead and I picked up some of these brackets at the Lowe's for like $2 and change a piece. This piece of aluminum, I get these side pieces that get lopped off of every sheet. Uh, I get big scrap pieces like that left over from each batch. Sometimes I build them, I turn them into uh, windscreen risers for uh, Gen 2 KLRs. Uh, but generally speaking, I've got, look, there's one down there. I've got a bunch of, I think I've got like five more of them in the house. So that was real handy to make that shelf. Oh, another thing about this shelf is uh, these little plastic bins. My mom ordered these off of Amazon. They were supposed to ship to Arizona. Instead, they ended up in my house here in Washington, which was fine by me because they have turned out to be absolutely perfect for holding the uh, all the stuff to do the powder coating. So um, really helped me to get organized. Got a lot of stuff up off of the floor area here, up there where it's organized. It stays dry. You can't have any moisture in the powder or it ruins it. Uh, had a lot of steel and aluminum stacked up over here that was taking up a lot of room. Uh, used a couple of buckets to uh, organize the shorts. Once again, used some of the L brackets to make hangers for metal stock that's getting ready to be used or waiting to be used. So that helped a lot with getting things organized. I was also yesterday able to finally get the... Uh, Kind of took sort of a personal day and did a personal project yesterday. I finally put the vise back on the mill here, got it trammed in and ready for use, cleaned up the uh, the lathe. I used both of these tools yesterday, and what I did with them, this cart, by the way, has been really handy. I don't know how I lived without that thing before. It's awesome. But uh, basically what I built was a coffee cup holder for my KLR. I ride with an open face helmet, and a lot of why is because I like to be able to have a nice sip of coffee as I'm riding along. So um, I've been looking for something good to use for this uh, for a while and really not coming up with anything that I really liked. So I made this for myself yesterday. Asher had a birthday party to go to yesterday at two. So I knew it was gonna be a short day anyway. So I figured, you know, why not finish getting the uh, machine shop part of this set up and actually do a little something, so. That was fun to do. Uh, what else is going on? I'm uh, building a small batch right now. Just, uh, I think it's two and a half sets of cases. And I think maybe a one top box, um, which I need to do in the desert color for somebody. Um, it's already spoken for, so that's uh, kind of what's going on here. I've got more hardware on the way, latches and stuff uh, should be here later on this week. I'm going to try to make it down to Seattle and probably get the next batch of metal. You know what? This time last week, I was sitting on a bunch of stuff and thinking, cool, I'm ahead of the game. We're going to be coming into spring. I'm killing it. And basically everything except for one set of cases has all sold. So I'm uh, literally like <clears throat> almost behind again. So um, I'm just going to keep busting ass and uh, continue to build stuff and hopefully keep the uh, the wait times. I would really like to have stuff in stock so that when somebody calls to order, I can get it on the way almost immediately. So anyway, oh, one other thing is coming in the mail. I uh, So I do three colors of powder now. See this little canister down here? I ordered that off of Amazon and it has worked out, out well enough that I did order another one. So the... Uh, the big canister is the one the machine came with. It's got the black in it. That's the one I use the most. So now I've got a small canister for the dark gray, or actually that's the light gray. But I've got another canister coming uh, in the next couple of days that'll hold the dark gray, which will make it significantly easier to swap over in between colors because I basically just have to kind of blow out the gun, clean this uh, area up here really quick by blowing it off, uh, hook up the other uh, canister, and there I go, I can uh, switch colors real easy. So 100 bucks a piece, well worth it, you know, just in the time that it'll save me. So anyway, Eric Solobox, I'm gonna get back to work. Everybody ride safe, uh, hit me up for some panniers. Uh, spring's coming, everybody's gonna wanna do a trip. Don't wait till the last minute. Talk to y'all later.